Um, how does the compliance problem differ across industry? Wow. Um, well, at its base, compliance, again, is the same across all industries in terms of you're just being asked to comply with certain mandates or requirements, if you want to call them that. Um, but if you, I don't know, I'll pick a couple of industries that I know we serve uh, intensely, and that's financial services and banking, and then another industry that we serve is healthcare, pharmaceutical, life science uh, type industries. And on the uh, financial side, uh, the, the volume of regulations that have to be complied with and the more specifically the rate of change and updates uh, is staggering. And again, that happens across industries. So just having to keep up with it. And of course, if something were to fail, I mean, there certainly are consequences to that. Um, in most cases, you know, monetary consequences. And, and, and so if people will weigh the options and, and invest whatever they feel is prudent, depending on their risk tolerance levels, uh, toward compliance. When we deal with uh, life sciences and healthcare pharmaceuticals, I mean, literally lives are on the line. So compliance uh, takes on a much, you know, more sobering meaning when it comes to the consequences you're, you're thinking of. The volume tends to be as high, the rate or pace of change tends not to be because there's a lot of deliberation, consideration, proving of, of these uh, regulatory requirements and standards and guidelines uh, that needs to take place so so we have a hopefully have a much better sense that we've got it right before we put it into practice so it tends to be a little more stable volumes high consequences staggering uh, the financial services high volume again pace of change is just is, is out of this world and trying to keep up is a, is a massive huge challenge